smashing it into nothing. All right, just go slow and watch all your sides, you know, get them duels into something. Yeah, that's probably the best. What we're doing today, Ryler's gonna fuel up the school bus there. Uh, the bus driver, he's usually the last one out of the house, so Ryler's gonna fuel that truck and they're gonna head off to school. Robbie's behind the camera, Rob's cameraman today. He's gonna do a good job. And we're gonna go load up some stuff for Grandpa, so let's go get our truck started so it can get warm enough. Okay, you see we've got uh, Grandpa's Mac. We're gonna get it started up and uh, let it warm up for a minute, check some tires. We borrowed his truck a couple weeks ago to haul a load of cattle to market, and we've still got his truck, and he needed a load hauled from Ely, Nevada, so we're gonna go ahead and take his truck, our flatbed, and go grab a load for Grandpa today up in Ely. See if this thing will get cranked up. Put some def in it yesterday, and I forgot to put the dang cap back on. And here is a kill switch that hopefully kept the batteries from going dead. Hopefully it starts good. It's kind of cold this morning, not too bad. Come on, Mac, come on. Yeah. Good day, good day. Go check some tires. Rob, have you seen how the real truckers check their yeah. tires? <laughs> You've seen them do that at the truck stop? Like off the movies I have. We're not real truckers, but we've seen you truckers use this at the truck stop. Check the tires. Mm. Good, good. Boom, bang, bang, bang. All right, should be good to go. Check on the truck too. Check the truck tires. Truckers bang on the steer tires. I haven't seen you do that, so I don't do it. I don't know. Tell me about that one. Tires are all good. Have you noticed you got a new jacket? Grandma saw in a YouTube video that I had that old raggedy one. So she gave me this one. It's pretty nice. Huh? I still have to might maybe put that old one on when I'm messing with greasy, nasty stuff. I don't want to get this one dirty. You know what this is for, Rob? The bulldozer blade. Yep, we're gonna hook this on the bulldozer and we're gonna put pipe in the ground. So that ripper hooks on the bulldozer. Look, see this got this hole in top right here and there's a sweep in there. There's actually a four inch sweep and it comes out right here. So that pipe goes down and curves out. That's a big metal pipe. So we can put that orange pipe, like this over here. Come look at this. Got some big rolls of this orange pipe. Stuff it down, it goes down through there. Hook that ripper in the ground and drive along and put that pipe in. So could like that orange pipe fit in here or no? Yeah, look at the look at the opening right here. Look how all right, so that's a curved piece of pipe that runs smoothly through there. So we'll put that pipe in the top, feed it out the bottom, hook that thing down the ground and start driving. I've got the other side all welded up. Look, see how this is still all crack right here. Yeah. It's not welded. That's why I flipped it over and then it got dark so I quit. So I gotta come over here, finish welding all that up, 
we can go put in some pipe with that thing. All right, let's let that truck warm up for a while while we go eat some breakfast and then we'll head out. What you got all them blankets for, Rob? Uh, huh? <laughs> it's a cold morning. Rob's planning on getting up in the sleeper. I guess he's gonna get him some blankets. Ready to go? Where's Reggie Bug? He's, he's still over there, I think, getting his jacket. Oh, uh -huh. watch, watch how easy this is. All right, your cameraman now. the weather app was lying because guess what it said Rob it said up in Ely where we're going with the wind chill today there's gonna be it's gonna be negative 15 so basically it's super cold it's like one degrees with some bad wind that makes it feel like it's negative 15 it's not too good not too good I might want to go grab my fuzzy hat in the house I remember like always going with you like everywhere in this. You know, lots of trips in this trip. Yeah. Bug, he's coming with us too. We gotta pick him up. Holy cow! Uh, are you cameraman? Uh, I don't know. Oh my! You ready to go, Ridge? Okay, so that negative 15 degrees wind, I'm gonna be prepared. I don't like that cold wind blowing on my ears. Got me one glove too. And I'm gonna be cold. I'm gonna and I'm All right, be... let's get moving. Gee whiz, burning daylight. Let's get this truck on the road. Are we using the flatbed and then we're using the other side? We're using the flatbed today. Oh, we're gonna be oversized load. Oversized load, huh? So we are going to Ely to hold tires to Grandma and Grandpa. Dad. Why do they want tires? Uh, they wanted it, and, and they wanted it like a tire trough. They want it like a tire trough, huh? What do they use tire troughs for? Uh, they put the tire trough in to put, maybe because they don't have a problem, they can put their fish in and the fish can swim. Oh, so grandma and 
grandpa and grandma need a tire trough for their fish to swim in, huh? Okay. Well, we better help them out with that. Oh yeah, last time the fish didn't have water, in, so I heard it, it didn't die yet, so I just grabbed my hand and I just walked over to it. I thought I could drop them in there. Well, we don't want grandma's fish to go without water. We better hurry up and go get them a tire trough. Molly, Dad, what are you doing? Save the fish! <laughs> We're on a mission to save the fish! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Dad. That's what we do, huh? Dad, last time on the highway, on the highway there was no trucks, and you got the 100. Remember that, Dad? Did you do that? Don't tell that on YouTube. Because <laughs> you it's against the law. You actually did it. Hey, you were in the truck. You can go to jail with me. What are me and you going to do in jail? We're gonna eat dusty water, I think. Maybe we couldn't like uh need a different supply. Maybe just like like they need that. Or for for water to go in at the wash. Like we did last now time. Now that's a good water. idea. You ever been there? China's not on the Been to Mexico a couple times. I ain't never been to China. Been to Brazil been once, been Mexico to America? twice, America a whole bunch of times. And, um, so that place always holds Idaho? Yeah, Idaho. Yeah, I've been to Idaho a few times. I I think that makes it that far. What's banging around back there? Oh, that was just... I just put my uh, thing right here and it just... Oh, what? You brought... What in the heck is that? It's a telescope. A baby. telescope? Where'd you get a telescope? Well, where are they for me? Uh, see, when we look at our... Uh, uh, our telescope's on the front. Can you see those cows with it? Pull it out, see if you can see them cows. Anyway, mm -hmm. garbage telescope in a nice wooden box. Yeah. <laughs> this is not garbage. It's the garbage telescope. Yeah, you're a crazy man, Mr. Ridgebug. Shovel. Ridgey man's telescope. Arr, matey, where's your treasure? What is that? That's like a pirate's telescope. What is that? That is a CB radio. And I have no idea how to operate it. Breaker, breaker, one nine. We got a problem up here on the Groom Lake Road. We got an unregistered trailer and two unlicensed drivers headed for the highway. Call the police. Over and out. That's how you do that, Ridgey Book. So I do it. Yeah. So if we go the phone to that, we talk to them. Here you try, Ridgey. Call them up. It's something that real truckers use. 
Remember, we're not real truckers. Who's a real we're, truck we're, we're, we're just cowboys in a truck. Who's a real truck guy, Real truckers? Yeah. Oh, that's some guys that really know how to truck it, you know? They know everything about trucking. Like the one day, um... Real truckers are experts at trucking. Oh, I love trucking. They can tell you how to truck. Like, um, one guy... I can't tell you how to truck. We just get in the truck and haul the junk. That's what cowboys do. Real truckers can oh, talk, no. to tr talk to talk. No, truck or talk. Talk to truck or talk. Cowboys just put the pedal to the metal, hammer down, and haul the stuff. That's what cowboys do. Tickaboo Valley mean land of you haul your own water. No flying aircraft. Watch out, watch out for UFOs.
be nice to have that thing clear full of grain, huh? Have it filled clear to the top of the corn. Open it up down there at the bottom and get some corn out. This came from a little house with a big yard. Big yard. Oh yeah, Dad, why don't we go to Jason's house and tell him we need some corn there? The jet's yeah, not his house. house. Here's Kelly Miller, we're gonna honk it. scenery there's not a whole lot to show not a whole lot going on right now but uh, there's some things I've needed to talk to you guys about and now is as good a time as any since we're captured in the truck rolling down the lonely highway so anyway it's kind of my state of the union state of the anchor brand ranch address here and I uh, just want to let you know kind of what's going on so we're into I think it's the 8th or 9th of March here in another week is going to be the end of the third quarter in school. I'm going to bust Riley out for part of this fourth quarter, and I, I, I need some help. Uh, been kind of going it alone for a while now, and it's time to start working with the cattle, and I need some help. So Riley's going to get out of school, and we're going to get busy on a bunch of cow work that we need done. Uh, tomorrow... We're headed to Las Vegas to weigh in for the state wrestling tournament for Rance, Ryler, and Riley. So wrestling season has been long, it's been good, and it's about to be done. That's a good thing. We've got rodeos picking up, so it's time to get busy with that arena. Uh, Kevin from SNK Workshop on YouTube, he reached out to me and uh, he said he'd like to come out and push a little dirt help us get that pad flattened out. As soon as we've got a good flat pad to build that arena on, we could get busy drilling post holes, cementing in pipe, and uh, <coughs> getting an arena made so we can do some real roping practice. So that's kind of creeped its way up on the priority list. So we've got cow work to do, an arena to build, rodeos to practice for. <coughs> some of the cow work that we're needing to do. Here's the plan. We're gonna start gathering everything we can get and bringing them to the house. We've got the big lot there. We've got a nice big stack of hay. So we're gonna go ahead and just start bringing everything to the house. There's some bigger calves that need to be weaned. There's lots of little calves that need to be branded, vaccinated, worked up. And I also wanna go through the cows, check their teeth. Anything with bad teeth, we're gonna Call them, roll them, get them out of here. Cattle are worth a pretty good bit right now. Good time to get rid of a toothless cow. Also going to spray their ears, make sure we don't have any ticks in their ears, keep them cleaned up from that. And uh, put the bulls in with them too. We've kept the bulls out all winter. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the bulls in with those cows while we've got them in on some good feed. And hopefully being on good nutrition and having the bulls with them, Hopefully we'll get a bunch of those cows bred up kind of at the same time and maybe consolidate our calving season a little bit, kind of make a little bit of a controlled and managed cow herd out of this, which is what you want. You want to have all your calves born close together so you can wean them all close to the same weight, same size, same kind. That's what the calf buyers want to buy is a nice truckload of 
500 pound black steers with all their vaccinations and all done up so that's our job to try to make them the truckload of calves they want and hopefully they'll pay us all the big money we want too so uh, speaking of money I hate money but it does come in handy at times and uh, like I showed you in several videos back the uh, ad revenue that comes in these ads that pop up in the middle of your YouTube video when you're trying to watch those actually pay money and uh, it's just a teeny bit for each one but when thousands of you guys watch these videos it adds up to be something and we were able to buy that good used caterpillar backhoe which has been really handy to have so we appreciate you guys watching the videos like subscribe comment all of that helps generate the the YouTube algorithm that puts it out to more people and in the end earns more money which again I hate money but it's handy to have when you need to do stuff so keep doing that um, go on the descriptions below these videos click on the link get yourself some Mons Pura CBD products buy you a new anchor brand ranch hat by the way I need one if someone would like to buy me a new anchor brand ranch hat <coughs> I'm all out of them seems like they get hijacked from me Anyways, we appreciate you guys uh, supporting those couple of things that help us. We, we do get revenue from the hats and hoodies, the CBD products that you buy, and click on those links. And these are good products too, I'm not going to say no crap. So, some good CBD and a good hat to wear while you're out trucking. <laughs> what else we got going on around here, Rob? Roping, rodeoing. Wrangling up cows. Lots of mechanic and always plenty of broke down equipment in the yard. We're really, really gun shy about hiring on outside help because it's just a, a high likelihood that you're going to get somebody that doesn't work out and costs more than they're worth and causes troubles. But, uh, Somewhere out there is the right person. We've got a trailer house here that <coughs> has been getting worked on and is, is livable. Needs a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of finish work, but it's had a lot of remodel work done lately. And uh, So there's a house to live in, somewhat of a shop to work out of, and plenty of broken farm machines, trucks, trailers, axles, bearings, things need greased, oil needs changed seals need replaced, fil filters need cleaned out or replaced, tires need swapped out, just so much stuff to keep all of this old equipment functional. <coughs> but if we had a good mechanic in the yard, that would make life way easier. I don't get to spend near the time that I need to out on the range caring for the cattle because I'm stuck in the yard trying to patch together and maintain all of this equipment that we use. So you're a mechanic and you think you want to live in a trailer house and fix broken anchor brand ranch junk all day every day reach out to me and uh, if you're no good I'll just fire you because we really need the right person not just a person so, um, like I say I'm really gun shy about bringing anybody in just for the fear that it's it's not the right person and it doesn't work out and it ends badly but at the same time there's probably somebody out there that needs us and we need them. So if the stars could align and bring us all together, it might be a good thing. What else we got happening around? Roxy's just starting out her softball season. Now, uh, Roxy did good with basketball and really loved playing, but she's a little bit new at basketball and she's still learning you know, to play a little bit and stuff. With softball, she's got her confidence and she loves it. Softball is her game. And uh, this weekend are her first softball games. She's been going to practice for a week, so we're Mom excited to see Roxy playing some Mom softball. Just really texted a lot of hearts. Oh, that means she loves me so much. Well, we're almost to London, Nevada up here. Uh, here in a few days, it will be exactly two years since we've came out here to this ranch at Tickaboo Valley. So we've survived two years. 
the goal at all times is to survive one more. That's kind of, we're on a, not a day-to-day -day or paycheck-to-paycheck, -paycheck, but more a year-to-year -year situation. <coughs> and uh, we've got two down, a lot of moisture in the ground going into this spring, so we're hopeful about this year. The things are going good. We're over 50,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So uh, it's, it's up, it really does come all down on me to work harder with putting out better and more videos. I uh, appreciate your patience with me. I know that I don't do good enough, but I try to bring you guys along and keep you somewhat up to speed on what's going on. I know a lot of you like to keep track and we really appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. Like it's humbling to know that, uh, you know, people care, they want to know what's going on, and I was, you know, wishing us good luck with our adventures, so know that we appreciate you guys, and we hope you like the videos. Check out the cool cow truck right there. Oh, man. I love watching a good cow truck going down the road. <coughs> I only have a few wishes for worldly items, and one of them is to one day be driving one of those big beautiful lit up cattle trucks oh man those things look good don't they but we'll get there one piece at a time one piece of the puzzle every day today i'm going to go grab some tire troughs for grandpa up here in ely he's working on a project and put in some new troughs and these uh tires off these humongous haul trucks so they got a lot of these big open pit mines up here in nevada <clears throat> and they've got those haul trucks that are huge. The tires are like 12 to 14 feet tall. They take that tire, slice it in half. The dang thing's four inches thick or more. And they make a great water trough. They're resistant to freezing because they're a little bit insulated. The sun shines on them, warms them up, so they thaw out good. And if any rejects come along shooting at them, they're bulletproof too, so you're not got leaky troughs like with the old steel or galvanized troughs. They don't rot and crumble down like the concrete troughs. So these tire troughs really are just a, a lifetime indestructible, really a good way to make a water trough for your cattle. We're going to show you some videos on putting those in eventually. We've got our secret project. Oh yeah, that reminds me. <coughs> a lot of people have been worried about that secret project that we started like over a year ago. And I've kind of kept you in the dark about it because there was a little bit of news that wasn't good news. And some people have been worried I've completely gave up and that never happens. What happened, we got that road built <coughs> and we made it up in there. It was life or death, closer to death a little bit, grading the road up into that pad at a few points. No brakes on that grader, but we got a good road, got a good pad, got a good well driller up in there with his rig. <coughs> he drilled a hole. And that hole had no water in it. It was dry. Now that spot has been witched by a lot of old timers over the years with their willows and whatnot, saying there was water down there. What the well driller found, right at the level that everybody claimed there was water, the well driller found uh, like a six foot thick layer of clay. And he said that that clay can be a little bit damp. There's not water in it, but it's a little bit of damp clay and that that will throw off the, the witch's willow <coughs> and cause a water witch to say there's water when there's actually nothing but a layer of clay. That's what happened, no water. So we had to redo the plan and we have decided to bring water from an existing spring that's in a little bit different direction. So we had to change the course of our pipeline and stuff. We've got it all planned out and we're getting very close in fact, I'm going to show you that uh, ripper tooth that I'm building to rip the pipe into the ground. So really soon, we're going to be putting some water down that pipeline, but it's not going to come from the well. It's going to come from a spring. That's the kind of the state of the top secret water project. It's going to happen. This is going to be a little bit of a plan B. Now I'm tired of talking and we're almost to lunch, so you can shut that thing off, Rob. Drilling a well right there, huh? Hopefully they don't come up dry.
welcome to a tour of Lund, Nevada. Elevation 5570. Speed limit 25. Slow her down there, trucker. This is slow. They don't want you racing through town. I thought 25 miles per hour was like a little faster than this. 25 is slow. White River Valley. Looking spot right there. Got some horses in the pasture. With snow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at the speed limit thing. It's saying we're going one mile too much. There we go. We got it right on there. Ooh, look at me. Keeping the law. Keeping the law. 25.
is so cold. That's a big pile of snow, huh? Ho ho! Ridgey made it. Go around the side where he went. Uh. Hey, don't go down over there. You could fall in and get lost, buried. All right, come on down. Let's go on the other side of the truck. We won't get in trouble. We're in government property here. Come on down. All right, come on over here by the truck. Let's go. these big chains. It's a big old chain. Look how, put your hand around one of those links. Look at that. Huge, huh? Look, there's a bunch more of them right there. Look behind you. Huge. See those ones right there? Big old chain, huh? Look at that. Cool, huh? 